Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Pizza al Taglio, Roman style pizza served by the slice, with a variety of toppings and flavors to choose from. Pizza al Taglio, also known as pizza by the slice, is a popular street food in Italy, including Rome. It refers to rectangular or square-shaped pizza that is sold by weight and cut into individual portions. Here's more information about pizza al taglio, shape and size. Pizza al taglio is characterized by its rectangular or square shape, as opposed to the traditional round shape of a whole pizza. The size can vary, but it is typically larger than a standard pizza slice, thick and crispy crust. The crust of pizza al taglio is thicker than the thin crust Neapolitan pizza. It is often airy and crispy on the outside while remaining soft and chewy on the inside. Variety of toppings. Pizza al Taglio offers a wide range of toppings and flavor combinations. You can find classic options like margarita, tomato, mozzarella, and basil, as well as creative toppings such as cured meats, vegetables, cheeses, and even seafood. Display and selection. Pizza al Taglio is typically displayed on long trays or in glass cases. Customers can choose the desired toppings and the slices are cut and weighed before being served. Customizable portions. One of the advantages of pizza al taglio is that you can choose the size and number of slices you want. It allows for a more customizable dining experience, making it suitable for individuals or groups. Quick and convenient. Pizza al taglio is a quick and convenient street food option. It is often enjoyed on the go or as a casual meal. The slices are reheated or cooked to order and can be easily folded and eaten by hand, affordable option. Pizza al taglio is generally more affordable compared to ordering a whole pizza. It is a budget-friendly option for those looking to enjoy a taste of authentic Italian pizza. Gelato. Indulge in the creamy and flavorful Italian ice cream, available in numerous flavors and served in cones or cups. Gelato is a beloved Italian frozen dessert that has gained international popularity. It is known for its smooth and creamy texture, rich flavors, and wide variety of options. Here's more information about gelato. Ingredients. Gelato is made from a base of milk, sugar, and sometimes eggs. It has a higher proportion of milk compared to cream, giving it a lower fat content than ice cream. This contributes to its smooth and dense texture. Churning process. Gelato is churned at a slower speed than ice cream, which introduces less air into the mixture. This results in a denser and creamier consistency. Flavor variety. Gelato comes in a wide range of flavors, from traditional classics like vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, to more adventurous and unique combinations like pistachio, hazelnut, tiramisu, lemon, and many more. Fruit flavors often use fresh, seasonal ingredients for optimal taste. Gelato cups and cones. Gelato is typically served in cups or cones. The cups allow for multiple flavors to be combined in a single serving, and the cones provide a crispy and edible vessel to enjoy the gelato, artistry, and presentation. Gelato shops often display their gelato in colorful and beautifully arranged showcases. The presentation of the gelato adds to the overall experience and entices customers to try different flavors, toppings, and garnishes. Gelato can be enjoyed on its own. But it is also common to add toppings and garnishes such as whipped cream, fresh fruit, chocolate shavings, or sauces like caramel or chocolate fudge for an extra indulgence. Gelato carts and shops. Gelato is commonly found in gelaterias, which are specialized shops dedicated to making and selling gelato. These shops offer a wide selection of flavors and often provide a cozy and inviting atmosphere for customers to enjoy their treat. Panini. Enjoy a variety of Italian sandwiches made with fresh bread, cured meats, cheese, and vegetables. Panini are Italian style sandwiches that have gained popularity worldwide. They are made by grilling or toasting bread filled with various ingredients. Here's more information about panini bread. Panini are typically made with Italian bread, such as ciabatta, baguette, or focaccia. The bread is sliced horizontally to create a pocket for the fillings. Fillings. Panini can be filled with a wide variety of ingredients, including deli meats like ham, turkey, or salami, cheeses such as mozzarella, provolone, or fontina, vegetables like tomatoes, lettuce, or roasted peppers, 
and spreads like pesto, mayonnaise, or mustard. The combinations are endless, allowing for both meat-based and vegetarian options. Grilling or toasting, panini are traditionally grilled or toasted, which gives the bread a warm, crispy exterior and melts the cheese, creating a satisfying contrast in textures. The sandwich is pressed between two heated surfaces, often in a panini press or a grill pan. Versatility, panini can be customized to suit individual preferences and dietary restrictions. They can be made with a variety of meats, cheeses, and vegetables, allowing for endless flavor combinations. Vegetarian and vegan options are also popular, using ingredients like grilled vegetables, plant-based proteins, and dairy-free cheeses, quick and convenient. Panini are a convenient option for a quick and satisfying meal. They can be prepared and grilled in a matter of minutes, making them ideal for lunch or a light dinner, on-the-go option. Panini are often enjoyed as a portable meal. They can be wrapped in foil or parchment paper to be easily carried and eaten while on the move. Popular Italian street food. In Italy, panini are a popular street food option. You can find small shops, cafes, or food stalls dedicated to serving freshly made panini with a variety of fillings. Porchetta sandwich. Savor a traditional Italian sandwich filled with slow roasted, juicy and flavorful pork, porchetta, and served on a crusty roll. A porchetta sandwich is a delicious Italian sandwich made with porchetta, a traditional Italian roast pork. Here's more information about porchetta sandwiches. Porchetta. Porchetta is a savory and flavorful Italian pork roast that is made by seasoning and slow roasting a whole pig. The pork is typically seasoned with garlic, herbs, such as rosemary, fennel, and sage, salt, and pepper. The roast is cooked slowly to ensure a crispy skin and tender, juicy meat, bread. A porchetta sandwich is typically made with a crusty Italian bread, such as ciabatta or a roll. The bread is often toasted or warmed before assembling the sandwich, filling. The star of the sandwich is the slices of porchetta. The roast pork is thinly sliced and piled generously onto the bread. The porchetta is rich, tender, and full of flavor. Condiments. Porchetta sandwiches are often served with condiments that complement the flavors of the pork. Common additions include spicy mustard, mayonnaise, or a salsa verde made from herbs, garlic, and olive oil. These condiments add a tangy and flavorful element to the sandwich. Optional toppings. Depending on personal preferences, Porchetta sandwiches can be customized with additional toppings. Some popular choices include arugula or other greens for freshness, sliced tomatoes, roasted peppers, or pickled vegetables for added texture and flavor. Served warm, porchetta sandwiches are typically served warm or at least at room temperature. This allows the flavors of the pork to meld with the bread and condiments, creating a satisfying and mouth-watering experience. Regional variations. While porchetta is enjoyed throughout Italy, there may be regional variations in the preparation and seasoning of the roast pork. Each region might have its own twist on the flavors and condiments used in porchetta sandwiches. Tiramisu, treat yourself to the classic Italian dessert made with layers of ladyfingers dipped in coffee, creamy mascarpone cheese, and cocoa. Tiramisu is a classic Italian dessert that is beloved worldwide for its rich and indulgent flavors. It is a layered dessert made with ladyfinger biscuits soaked in coffee and layered with a creamy mixture of mascarpone cheese, eggs, sugar, and sometimes flavored with cocoa or chocolate. Here's more information about tiramisu, ladyfinger biscuits. The base of tiramisu is often made with ladyfinger biscuits, known as savoyardi in Italian. These biscuits are light and sponge-like, providing a delicate texture to the dessert. Coffee soaking. The ladyfinger biscuits are dipped or brushed with espresso coffee or a coffee-flavored liqueur, such as marsala or tia maria. The coffee soaking adds a robust and slightly bitter flavor to balance the sweetness of the other ingredients. Mascarpone cream. The creamy layer of tiramisu is made with mascarpone cheese, a rich and creamy Italian cheese. The mascarpone is typically blended with sugar and egg yolks to create a smooth and luscious filling, layering. Tiramisu is assembled in layers. The soaked ladyfingers form the first layer, followed by a layer of the mascarpone cream. The process is repeated to create multiple layers, and the top is often finished with a dusting of cocoa powder or grated chocolate, flavors and variations. 
while the traditional tiramisu recipe is made with coffee, mascarpone, and cocoa, variations of tiramisu exist. Some recipes incorporate additional flavors, such as chocolate, berries, citrus, or even liqueurs like amaretto or rum, providing different taste experiences, chilling and setting. After assembly, tiramisu is chilled in the refrigerator for a few hours or overnight. This allows the flavors to meld together and the layers to set, resulting in a firm and velvety dessert, individual or cake form. Tiramisu can be served as individual portions, typically in glass or dessert cups, or it can be assembled as a large cake or rectangular pan and sliced into servings.